get up in line. And the starter's ready for them. The red light's on, set, away they go. Well, Sabile came out running and Tomazawa is going to go looking for the lead and get it. Going through on the inside, who did this to me? He's running second, pick it up, third. Now, October settles fourth between those two runners. Then the better half. It's trapped out pretty wide on the track, four deep around Mamoljo. Also well back, Fraternity Girl, and going to the rear on the fence was Aubrey's ace. Sabile gets the lead quite comfortably as they go up to the 8.50. A half a length to pick it up. A length and a quarter. Who did this to me? Then Rocktober. There's Fraternity Girl out about four deep. The better halves out about five deep. They're going forward. Aubrey's ace is back nearer to the inside. And uh, Mamal Joe has dropped to the tail. They go to the 6.50. Sabile in front. Led by three parts to pick it up. A half the Fraternity Girl. Getting up on the rail. Rocktober starts to make ground. They're followed then by Mamal Joe going forward. The better halves drop back. Aubrey's ace has got a bit to offer but needs some room and uh, who did this to me drop right out Sabile's in front at the bend 3.50 to go turned the corner and straightened a length or so to pick it up who's battling on Rocktober behind them and now here's Aubrey's ace take it to the outside Tomazawa pulled the whip on Sabile she found something she got a length and a half in front pick it up can't get there on the outside Aubrey's ace but Sabile she's running away from them and she wins well second pick it up third Aubrey's ace Rocktober probably fourth just ahead of mum old joe then a gap for the back to fraternity girl the better hub and tailing off at the rear who did this to me sabile ends it up for the favorite punters with a good win got to the front early dictated the tempo kicked away round the turn pick it up and aubrey's ace got into the clear but uh sabile had plenty up its sleeve over the final part, and Sabile has scored well. She had a lot of fight here last week when it ran second uh, in that battle down the straight with Hidden Edition, and has gone one better tonight, and has won quite emphatically at the end, was able to draw away uh, to win it well. Get some more information coming through here. Yeah, good, good, good performance, wasn't it, Pat? By Sabal, the two-year-old taking on the older horses, and uh, as I mentioned, I'm not sure how many two-year-old uh, big brown fillies will be running around in southeast Queensland, but uh, she looks like a bit of talent. She found the front beautifully, jumped well, and uh, Thomas Zawa just had to sit, steer, and press the button at the end. All right, so. Now we're just hearing in the line that the stewards are going to look into the start here. We may be looking into the start here. So it is a hold all tickets, but uh, all honours with the winner at this stage, Sabile. Uh, she was brilliant and uh, definitely justified that uh, backing on course, 250 into 210. But there is a hold all tickets. Now what we'll do is, uh, while that hold all tickets is happening, we will go to a Cla uh, Clarewood replay. The 10 was a late scratching, but here is the replay. No information yet about Mida George, and it looks as though number 10 has been left behind, Mida George. The other runners sent on their way from the 1,000 metre marker. And Vibration is very quick to respond. He rocks is right there shortly after the start. To be Nobles, the black cap on the right-hand side. They are followed by Dark Liability, a couple of lengths off the lead. Captain King is quick towards the right-hand side. And Captain in Amber is also within striking distance as they settle down to race. Ashton Man's got about four lengths to make up. Avaricious also five or six lengths to go. Coming down to the 300, he rocks the leader. And Vibration's now going to put on the pressure. And here comes Vibration to tackle. He rocks past the 200. Then comes Captain in Amber. But Vibration, and it's all over. And Vibration can get east down. Is clear already by five or six. And Vibration, six lengths, won it by a street. The second placing will go to He Rocks. Then Astro Man staying on for third. And fourth position, Captain in Amber. Yeah, vibration too good there. Marcus two thirty and one fifty or vibration. He rocks at uh, four seventy. Astro Man at a dollar ninety. Thirteen nine and one with the numbers and didn't that thing win untouched? My De George was a late scratching. Definitely the ten. If you didn't hear the call as they jumped, now you're wondering uh, where the ten is if you backed it. Well, it was a late scratching. All right, still a hold all ticket set to Woomba. Take note, but here's the dividends from Clarewood. Winner paid two ninety on tats. Uh, no figures through from Super Table New South Wales yet. We'll bring you them shortly. 
All right, we'll take a break here on uh, Sky Racing World. When we return, we'll uh, come back and uh, hopefully give you an all clear on Toowoomba. And uh, where we just saw the impressive winner of Sabile, the two year old filly by Big Brown. Fans, join us as we take a look back at chats with some of our very special guests each Tuesday night at 7. It's Off the Rails Best of 2014 on Sky Racing World. The July Festival at Newmarket. Join Martin Kelly live trackside tonight for the showpiece.